Good morning. I am now trying to escape this place. I packed all my stuff together and I'm now leaving. Boldly. I'm still waiting if I need to go to work. Um, we should have started like an hour ago, but it's still pretty grey outside and I don't, it might even rain a bit. So, yeah, I might have another free day and not know about it. And I didn't hear from Liam, which is my co-worker who has um, another room in his flat. And I don't really care because I will not stay here for another week. The first week, and hopefully the only week in Cherry Lodge, is over today. I think I moved in last Wednesday. I might have to... I think I moved in last Wednesday. So I would have to pay for another week now, but no way. I'm, I'm probably for now going to move back to another hostel because this is just horrible. And um, let me show you the closet once again. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know why those are there and those are not mine. Not so awesome. Um, and there's a sheet over here. On checkout of room. So this just says that I would have to wash the linen everything they gave me and bring it back or else they will charge me five dollars. Um, it's hidden in the closet and they can't expect me to open it or use it because it's dirty and not clean and I don't even think Ross the owner had a look in there. So when I bring my stuff over later I'll just pretend I didn't know about that so they won't charge me this money. It, no, there's no way you could... How can you run a place like that? It's horrible. So, yeah, that's just today and look at the weather. Yeah, so probably not jumping, but tonight, around midnight, will be the first time I actually get paid, so still something good to this day. Okay, just to film anything today, um, the house I want to move in, like Liam's, is uh, they already found someone, and another one was with Vicky, but I think, um, well, she just told me that they were moving out, so I need to find something else. I think I will, like, go to another backpackers for the next few days, and then see where things go from there. Um, as you might notice, I'm in the office, we've been called in for one load, which, well, isn't too bad, it's just a bit unexpected, like getting called in at half past two in the evening. But it's just more money. So yeah, today might I might move later on and go shopping because else I'll starve. Okay, that was not so pleasant. My workday is over, that was, was fine. And there's actually another room I could move in um, with uh, where Jesse is living. I never mentioned him before, so don't worry about that. And just now I booked into another hostel. I'm still in this horrible cherry lodge. I booked into another hostel, which also belongs to the guy who owns this one. So, uh, and then went over to the owner of this place and told him like I wanted to move out and found something else and kind of bent the truth a little. Like I said that I found something else I could move into, but I haven't really. So, and he is legally not allowed to let people to stay here for a week. You have to have the intention to stay here for a month. And as I came here, I told him that I had the intention. But this intention slowly, not slowly, really fast, went away after like condom wardrobe and cold and all that shit. And yeah, he was really pissed. So that was really uncomfortable. But what else can I do? There are two other co workers who have been here for just a week. And yeah, what else am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just stay here for a month and feel miserable? I don't think so. So he can be pissed all he wants and just throw this stuff in his general direction and... Well, I didn't... yeah, well, I can understand why he's pissed, because this is not how it's... Um, how it should work around here, but then again, this is not how... how a room you rent should look. So, yeah, probably just running away from here really, really fast now. Now the lesson learned, you shouldn't go shopping, food uh, grocery shopping, when you're hungry and when you're pissed. Because then you're just uh, treating yourself to stuff you never really need. So what I got right here is hardly a real meal. It's just a lot of sweets and stuff, but I think I can survive on that. 